Hi guys, let's talk about rim marking. First of all, I want to show you where you can find the information on the rim itself. So basically you turn the rim around, you lay it down, and now I want to zoom in. So I need to take the camera off and show you guys. Let's see all this different information. And there is the most important that I want to show you. Here it says 6J times 15 CH4 dash 27. What 6J means is that the width of the rim, not the tire of course, the rim is 6 inch. So when you remove the rim, the section where you can put the rim on is 6 inch long. So from here to here it's 6 inch. Now 15 is the diameter of your rim. CH is a hump profile. Hump for this rim is CH4 which is a combination hump, flat hump on the outside and hump on the inside. Now if we move to 27 this is an offset. Now what is an offset? If you take a look here this is the interface surface that touches the hub of your car. And now if you... let me take something flat. Okay, I found it. It's gonna do well. Uh, what you need to understand first is that the offset uh, counts from the middle section of the rim. So if you would remove the tire, the middle section is here. And now, if you want to draw a middle line, it would be somewhere here. I'm not sure if you see that. Let's say that you do. Uh, and then, now, if we measure where the interface part is, it's here. So now, now you see that this is the hub center and this is where the interface part is located. And this distance here is the offset. And if it's towards the outside of your car, then it's positive, it's plus. So I have 27 here, which is 27 millimeters. The negative offset would be if this surface here would be here. That would be negative. And then your rim would stick out of the car. So now when you choose a rim with negative offset, you need to remember that your rim might stick out of the car and that is not allowed. And on the other hand, if you choose a rim with very positive offset, meaning this interface part is pushed that way, you could end up with no room for your braking system assembly since there's a limited space here as well. So best is to check what rims are specified for your car and by as close as possible to this size. Okay guys, one last thing about the offset. If you see here, this is written just 27 at the end. Normally offset is described as ET27 in this case. You will also find a number describing the lag pattern. For this rims, the number is 4 times 108. What it means is that there are four places for bolts and that if you connect each center of this hole by a ring, by a circle, the circle diameter would then be 108. Now when you buy new rims, another thing you have to consider is the length of the bolts that you would need to use for these rims. So the best thing is if the rims come with the bolts that you are going to use. And of course you need to know what size of the bolts you use for your car so the bolts used for the rims are not too small. And basically the length of the bolts will be dependent on the thickness of this part here and the offset. So that's all related. It's best to check that with the seller if you buy from the aftermarket and if you buy from the shop 
it's as easy as to specify your car model and year of production to the shop. All the information about the rim should be specified on the rear side. So this is the first number that we talked about. This is for example the type of the rim. This is the year of production. That's the logo of the manufacturer. And then you also have some information here. Uh, you need to visit the site of the manufacturer to get the overview of what all these numbers mean. Alright guys, that's all that I had. If you have some questions or maybe I forgot some topic, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you. And good luck with your rims.